uh, excited to have Danny Burrell on board. It was uh, a pretty lengthy process this summer that we went through to uh, try to find the right guy for our program that not only was the best pitching coach, but would fit uh, certainly the culture of our program, the culture of Georgia Tech. Uh, I would definitely like to thank uh, Todd Stansberry, uh, Io Taylor Dixon, and Marvin Lewis. They were uh, pretty creative in allowing this to, uh, to happen, and, uh, but couldn't be more excited to have uh, Danny on board. Uh, obviously, great player uh, at Wake Forest and a great pitcher. Uh, kind of like a Tristan English would be my uh, comp on him, uh, even though he was drafted higher than Tristan's second round pick. So uh, I kid him, he hit one of the longest home runs I've ever seen hit here uh, into right field when he played, and that was kind of painful to watch, but we're glad that he's, uh, <laughs> he's on our side now. Questions for Coach? I guess kind of what, what were you looking for when you, you were looking for pitching coach? Maybe a little bad that you just knew you were looking for. Best guy in the, the best guy we could get uh, that would certainly fit some of the parameters with culture, uh, but really looking who, who can develop our pitchers uh, the best. And, uh, and I felt like he was definitely uh, that guy. Uh, it was uh, a little bit strange in how I uh, discovered him, let's put it that way. I kind of knew what he was doing. Uh, you know, you look that he's in charge of 180 pitchers in the New York Yankees system, uh, which is probably the one of the best sports franchises in the world. Uh, so just that right there uh, has instant credibility. Uh, but I was actually going to Tampa to interview somebody else, and I was kind of cross-checking the guy I was going to interview and uh, hung up the phone. I was on the way to the airport, hung up the phone, and the guy texted me, and he's like, you need to hire Danny Burrell. <laughs> so I'm like, you got a cell phone number? So he gave it to me, call him. And he just so happened to be landing in the airport in Tampa as I'm getting ready to fly there. Mm -hmm. And so I just said, hey, could you uh, meet me in the airport when I land? And he said, yes. And so that kind of started it. Uh, and I knew within an hour, of, I think we probably spent an hour, of talking to him that that's who I wanted to hire. Um, had to go interview the other guy, though, that I was going down to interview. But I think the next weekend, uh, myself, my wife Kara, James, and uh, his wife Grace, we had Danny up with his wife Martha. Took him to dinner, showed him around. He felt like uh, you know it was something he wanted to pursue. And, uh, and so that's kind of how we ended up where we're at. You, you got involved a lot more with analytics last year. Now with Danny Board, will, you, will that go to another level? Uh, yeah, we probably should have just brought a picture of his whiteboard in his office. And that, <laughs> that might be able to explain, uh, you know, where we're headed. But, you know, I said it in our release, I think he – he understands the pitching mechanics, uh, but he can not only, I think, understand the mechanical side, use video to understand that, but he can take all the statistics, the analytics, the measurables, and apply them to, uh, you know, making our guys better. And I think one of the things that we pride ourselves on here at George Tech is being innovative, and he's going to be uh, real innovative on the pitching side. You were able to get through the draft and retain some of the best pitchers in the class. I imagine that was a good selling point, too. Yeah, it was. You know, I mean, we lost a lot of innings last year, and uh, he's reminded me of that uh, <laughs> a couple times already. But uh, we do have, uh, we feel like, you know, the recruiting class is number four in the country. So there are some good players that, uh, you know, we got through the draft. Uh, we got another good class kind of stacked up behind them. But, you know, we have to develop our guys, and there will be some young guys we're going to lean on, which sometimes is hard. Uh, but I also think some of our older guys will uh, continue to get better. And uh, I think the fact we have Jonathan Hughes back, that may be the biggest get of the, uh, the summer. He had a chance this summer, went to Cape Cod, and I know was offered some contracts, and, but kind of wanted to come back, finish school, and then take a shot at it next year. So to have somebody like that, back with the innings that 
you know, he's log force, I think, helps us uh, maybe keep some of our younger guys down in different roles. Did when you, when you, the nature of the position and just kind of the way things have gone in the last 20 years, injuries are up so much in, in terms of pitchers. How much is a strategy for developing depth, uh, especially early in the season, to you know get into the same kind of situation? And was that like a major factor in kind of your discussions? Injuries are going to happen. I mean, and and why they happen, I think it's hard for anybody, whether it's Dr. James Andrews or me or Danny or anybody to predict who's going to get hurt, why they get hurt. Uh, I think that's hard to predict. Nobody wants them to happen. I think that everything that he has been exposed to in terms of training, throwing, uh, I'll get the wrong word, but the guy from Australia that you talk about, uh, Biomechanist. So <laughs> he's been exposed to everything in terms of trying to get guys healthy. But, you know, the New York Yankees have guys that get hurt. George Tech has guys that get hurt. Guys get hurt everywhere. But we want to be on the forefront of training technology to try to do everything we can to prevent that. And it's hard, but we definitely uh, want to be on the forefront of anything that is kind of new age and would allow guys to sustain uh, their health. Going back to, to Jonathan Hughes, he came here as a starter, the surgery, came back as a, as a reliever, seemed like towards the end of the season, you could tell that his body language was so much better out there on the mound, uh, his confidence. Is he someone that might move back into that starter role? I think you'll have every chance to, quite honestly. And obviously, uh, Danny's going to have a lot of input into what we try to do there. But, uh, you know, I think he's got good enough fastball. He's got a good breaking ball. The one pitch that he said he felt like he was much better with this summer was his changeup. So I think, you know, he, he definitely has the arsenal to be a starting pitcher. But, you know, the, the good thing about fall baseball, having Danny's eyes on him, is that let's see how we can make our team the best and if it's that Jonathan Hughes needs to start then he'll be starting. How important is a fall slate for you to just kind of figure out you have some new pieces and a lot of returning pieces are kind of core pieces to your team but just to kind of mix and match and kind of get a feel for everything. It's very important and uh, you know we pride ourselves on development we've always prided ourselves on that so you definitely want to develop your guys uh, in the fall uh, when you think about it in six months, I mean, we've turned almost our, well, we have our whole staff other than me over. Uh, so James hit the ground running last year. Dan Jaffe came in, did a tremendous job, I thought, with Kyle McCann. So one of the key positions, we got to figure out who's going to catch now because Kyle McCann's gone, Joey Bart's gone. Uh, we have two freshmen that we think will battle hard with the two upperclassmen that have kind of been backups. But yeah, you're going to move a lot of guys around. You're going to see what you have on the mound. Uh, try to create depth in terms of where different guys can play. Uh, so, yeah, fall's critical for us just to try to develop each guy individually, but also develop our team. Speaking of recruiting, I guess hiring has been happening with the team. It's really been heavily on Zach Randolph. What's the fresh back here? And what's that put on the guys when you realize, wow, his senior or his caliber has just climbed this well last year? What's that like back here with him? How do I get this guy? <laughs> that, I mean, that's, that's kind of what, uh, what it became was how do we make this happen to where, uh, you know, he gives up a great opportunity that he had with the Yankees to jump into college baseball, come to Georgia Tech. Uh, that, that's kind of where my mind went was, okay, how do we make this happen for, uh, you know, Danny and his wife and his son to come to, come to Atlanta. Uh, first of all, just the person. Uh, you know, I, I always like getting in front of people and just, okay, what makes this guy tick, you know? Uh, I think he was very comfortable with me. I was comfortable with him. Uh, it was pretty quick that he is involved in a lot of things that I value in developing our players. Uh, obviously, the Yankees are a great organization. And so just knowing 
knowing his background, I mean, he went to Wake, and Wake was really good when he, uh, when he played there. Uh, so people that coached him at Wake, you know, one of them was Bobby Miranda, who uh, had coached with me here. And Miranda's quote on him was, he goes, one of the top five people I've ever been around. So you start hearing stuff about that, you kind of confirm it with a hour meeting in the Marriott in uh, Tampa. Uh, I knew he had all the pitching things down. Uh, actually made some phone calls of, uh, to people that are in the Yankees organization, players, pitchers, <laughs> uh, to get, get some feedback there. That was all really off the charts. So. It kind of, for me, it became a no-brainer. It became more, okay, how can we make this happen? Why don't you mark for Coach? When you look at the, you have a couple games scheduled for the fall, how important will those games be for you to take a look at some of those young pitchers? Oh, they'll be important. You know, I think, uh, you know, we're going to go on the road to South Carolina, and then that, that's on a Sunday, and then Saturday we'll come back and play Sanford here. So, yeah, we want to see those guys in the fire trying to get uh, – good college hitters out and uh, just see how they react. But the good thing is we have some time to kind of build up to that. So we'll have some inter-squad games. I do think we'll play a little fall World Series prior to that, get that kind of out of the way. So we'll try to do a lot of things to make our guys compete and just see uh, see how the new and the old kind of blend together. Anything else? Okay. Thanks, All right. Thank you. Thank you.